Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, October the 8th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 8. The second aim continued. Members of the Third Order fight against all such injustice in the name of Christ, in whom there can be neither Greek, uh, Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for in him all are one. Our chief object is to reflect that openness to all, which was characteristic of Jesus. This can only be achieved in a spirit of chastity, which sees others as belonging to God, and not as a means of self-fulfillment. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, and sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured, how he swore an oath to the Lord and vowed a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor let my eyelids slumber, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Ark. We heard that it was in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jerem. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the Ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, he will not break it. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bless her provisions, and satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will rejoice and sing. There I will make the horn of David flourish, as I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. But as for his enemies, I will clothe them with shame. But as for him, his crown will shine. Gracious God, you have taught us in our Savior Jesus Christ that you are present whenever there is love, and that two or three who gather in his name are citizens of your eternal city. Feed us with the bread of life, that we may grow to recognize in every human heart a sign of your presence and an opportunity to serve you. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city, who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor had two debtors. One owed five hundred denarii and the other fifty. When they could not pay, he cancelled the debts of both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he cancelled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, You have judged rightly. Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven her. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. But to those who were with him at the table, they began to say amongst themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for all who confess the name of Christ. We give thanks for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our leadership. For Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for those whose lives are bound in mutual love and for those who live in celibacy. Heavenly Father, we hold up in prayer today those who are married. Most especially, though, we pray for those whose marriages are struggling because of this strange time that we're living in right now. For those who are afraid for their futures. 
We pray most especially for those who are in abusive relationships and who are spending more time with their abusers. We pray, Heavenly Father, you will protect them and strengthen them. Be their joy and their strength. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all in danger, for those who are far from home, prisoners, exiles, victims of oppression. We pray for those in the world today that suffer from the effects of prejudice and racism, those who are seen as a threat simply because of the color of their skin, their faith, or their customs. Grant them your salvation. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who are facing trials and difficulties, for those who are sick and those who are dying. We pray today for those who are suffering from the effects of COVID-19, for their families and friends, for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, isolation. Show them your kindness and your mercy. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for one another. Most especially this day, we pray for those in our community who are struggling, whether because of the pandemic or poverty or homelessness or fear or anxiety. And we give thanks for those who work with the marginalized and the hurting, our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, for scientists and researchers. May we always be united in service and love. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray to be forgiven our sins and set free from all hardship, distress, want, war, and injustice. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. We pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, and the Bear Clan. May we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we be strengthened by our communion with all Christ's saints. Lord, hear and have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this day for the province of Asia Pacific, for New South Wales A, New South Wales B, and the ACT regions, and for Jane, William, Stephen, Cece, Alicio, Janet, Diana, Tina, Derek, Diana, Dennis, Joan, Celso, Lucine, Keith, and Donna. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have built your church on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Join us together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may become a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clare pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and defend us. May the Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.